we are ready. Welcome back to Modern Art Blitz. I am your host, oh, Matt Gleason. My guest right now, probably a legend. I can't. We'll check on that. Christy Roberts Berkowitz. How you doing? Hi, legend. How are you? Legend. Yeah. Can I call you legend? Wow, that's it. That's no <laughs> People are like, oh, this is going to be a good one. What's yeah. going on? <laughs> so um, you wear many hats under the umbrella of artist. What can so. you can you name them all? Because you, you're doing so many things. Wow. Okay. So um, I can I I think I consider myself first and foremost a, a multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary artist. That's a lot of hats. Just yeah. in multidisciplinary. In, in okay. Yeah. 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 Well, yes. Yeah. The multidisciplinary hat. It's just one hat, but it's okay. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. So what so else? So interdisciplinary. Um, I also make music, and uh, I like produce electronic music and sing. And uh, I'm a professor, and I write. I'm a really good cook. Ah, okay, well now. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, Dronebox Labs, where we tape uh, Modern Art Blitz, I've, has a kitchen. I see this. And they do a, a marijuana edibles cooking show. You know what? I've never, I've never cooked with marijuana? pot. Really? I've never well, cooked with pot. <laughs> here's a first I, for everything. I know. I might. I should try. I, you know. I should just, try. I, that I found a new thing I can try. There's many things to try, and getting high is very easy. It's very I easy. I just right? really get these. You know what? When when edibles were first a thing, they could I couldn't like they they smelled too much like uh, yeah, it, yeah. and I and I. I, now those science is now, I know, they've gotten so much better. Yeah, and there's even a, yeah, there's even a show. So we're looking at a, is so this cooking a field with pot. Of, is this a field of tulips? This is a field of poppies. A field of poppies? California poppies. Okay. Yeah. Why California poppies? Well. Is this a photograph of yours? Yes, this is a photograph of a field I planted. You planted the field? You yes. Pla you planted poppies? Yes. For so, use in opium production? Of course. Okay. No. Um, when, uh, so in 2009, when my dad was diagnosed with cancer, um, I started kind of I, like vacancies became a big thing in my life. Um, emptiness suddenly had a presence. Absence suddenly had a presence. And so I started noticing all of the absence around me and particularly vacant lots and there is something in um i was working through this potential absence of my father um by kind of dealing with the vacant lots and um i started i, I started seeing them as a place to reframe potential not for development but maybe for green spaces okay and so i wanted to start practicing guerrilla gardening but i wanted to use something that um didn't need a lot of maintenance oh really so poppies don't need maintenance no they reseed themselves they're wow. native okay um they are invasive and so you have to be careful about like where you use them urban and and most suburban some suburban areas are fine once you get out into rural areas it'll mess up the the ecosystem the, yeah the balance of the natural ecosystem because so, so, they're they're dominant and they're invasive, very do dominant but they're native okay. and do they get they get everyone all the other plants addicted to them is that is that that's it? what yeah. they do? Yeah. So, so how much heroin were you able to harvest out of? Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> DEA is like, no, all right. No, you know Fish what? The, um, the Tonkva actually used California poppy. They used um, they use a derivative of California poppy as like a light sedative. It, it, it's not really an opioid poppy. There's no like uh, milk stuff in, there. No? Okay. stuff in it. But the seeds, you can make a tea out of the seeds and it's like a light sedative like kava or something. Did you feed it to your dog when there's firecrackers? Probably. Yeah? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to you on that one. So what, what, what are we looking at here? Okay, so this is, um, this is a, a seesaw, a seven-person unbalanced seesaw. Oh, my. Unbalanced. Oh, no. You really need cooperation. And it, exactly. And it's called consensus because consensus is awful. And it's awful because everybody brings a different amount of privilege to the conversation, right? Okay. So some voices are just kind of been naturally louder than others mm -hmm. and so consensus isn't necessarily like a feminist model um, and I made this right after Occupy because I was having trouble with how is everybody being heard in this system like this doesn't feel like utopia yet 
And so I, I wanted to kind of deal with the consensus model as something that had a lot of problems in it. Um, if, if the language of the meeting is not being done in your native language, you don't have as much of a say, like things like that where there's all these barriers to consensus, there needs to be other things. So everybody who uses this seesaw has to kind of figure out where their place is on the seesaw in uh, order for it to and then because consensus makes you want to drink it makes margaritas <laughs> so so uh, where was this displayed at the torrance art museum torrance art museum in torrance Baker's california mm -hmm. yes no permanent collection just new stuff all the no time no permanent there. collection no yeah. permanence nothing's permanent though nothing right? is permanent nothing's permanent especially so, after that ice cap melt what well especially after a couple of those margaritas i'm sure yeah so hey, so <laughs> what uh what year was this like Occupy is 2010? Yeah, so, the, so right around the, yeah, maybe so this, the next year? I think this is 2013. How come Occupy, it didn't, do you have a fundamental critique of Occupy? Um, I think Occupy did uh, as much as Occupy could do in the system that Occupy tried to work within. Uh -huh. And I think that Occupy's biggest, um, one of its best things that happened is that um, a lot of breakout groups came out of Occupy. Um, of because it's really like the small single or ma like small issue single focus groups that were yes. getting direct action that's like good, yeah. traction you, you, out of single focus yeah yeah and not that because everything is intersectional and so occupy is a great umbrella for the intersectionality uh -huh. but I think that the groups that were focused specifically on like this issue, like the art group or the media group or the etc. They got more done than they trying to. They got a little to, more yeah. done. And the debt forgiveness, the, they, they've been forgiving student, they like buy people's debt. Did you hear about the debt? That they it. lost a billion dollars worth of paperwork. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, oh, good. Praying yeah. I'm in that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You're pray okay, okay. Praying I'm a part okay. of that. So, yeah. so, um, so now you, you went to, you got a master's degree. I did. Where at? Claremont Graduate University. How was that? Good school? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it, now, it's interesting because Claremont uh, is... Known for painting. Best known for... When, <laughs> when I taught there, it was known for painting, but that was many, many years ago. It's, it's, it's heavy painting. Yeah. When I was there, um, large drawings that look like paintings. Large or, drawings that look like paintings. Or um, very like formal kind of sculpture. It's funny because people would assume that because I have content that I'm not a formalist, but I am. Well, for, I mean, art school, the one thing it really can do is really emphasize those basics. Yeah. I mean, you know. Right. So you can, you can pour a good foundation if you have strong formal Absolutely. values. Absolutely, yeah. Know? It's always going to make the work more interesting. I care about the work looking good. Okay. Um, I also care about the work being meaningful. Uh -huh. and, um, and so... Did you meet a lot of resistance? Uh, yeah, I did. So you I, know resistance. I you know what it's like. Sure You're like, you were like the Trump of of Clare You Claremont. know what? Yeah. My par my parents are retired police officers. Whoa, whoa! I've been Kate. a vegetarian since I was nine. Wow! Um, did you see? Because wait, from the movie Babe. No. No? Okay. From the fair, going to the county oh, fair. Oh, the county fair's out that way. The county fair. I blame it on Pomona. Yeah. Yeah. Those I those pigs like, are just not so, right. Those pigs, um, the goats always got to me. Yeah, More than, it's like, oh, come on. Man. All of it, all of, they're just big dogs, all of them. <laughs> they're big dogs, yeah. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so I, th I, th I feel like I thrive in positions of resistance. Okay. Um, because it's the most natural condition And yet for your me. seesaw was, was kind of a critique of the resistance movements in a lot of way, like this, this desire. In a way, for yeah. I think that I think that anything that you love passionately and fiercely should be the thing you're most interested in improving. Okay, so because a lot of the left now, you're not allowed to critique. Oh no, no, no! Just you know, they're everybody. Well, you know, we live in a. I the left island is all the critique. Really? All critique. Well, all it's the all time. it's all people capping on each other without you know allowing for that sort of. Uh, you know? Yeah, there is. Um, I think that I think that people in pain often exhibit behavior of people in pain. Okay, screaming. Yeah, and and um, and I think that uh, oppressed and marginalized communities are in pain. Okay. And so what I, what I hear first and foremost is 
I'm in so much pain that I'm willing to lump all of these people in together. Uh. I'm in so much pain that I'm willing to throw all of these people under the bus. I'm in so much pain. And I just kind of listen because I don't know what it's like to live in a pain that is tied to my identity and my existence. Okay. I can take off. I can, I can tell you that I'm Jewish, but I have to tell you, right? Because like, Berkowitz didn't tell me. <laughs> uh, but I think, I think that people living in, in, in pain that's tied to something that they can't take off, I think that um, I'm just there to, uh, what I hear is that it's not about me. I don't make it about like, yeah. I'm, I just hear pain and I listen and I listen for ways that I can help. As part of your practice. I think it's just like... Or as part of you just being a human being. Yeah, I'm just being a Forget human being. Whole, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I consider myself anti-racist and I consider mm -hmm. myself like anti-homophobic and anti, like all of those things. And that's an active role. It's not enough to be just not racist. You have to be anti, it's an pa active role. That's interesting because the passivity yeah. of many people on the left, it's like, okay, I'm passive, I'm that way, and I'm, but then nothing gets done. So. Nothing gets done, yeah. So what are we looking at here? Who's this okay. guy? So this is this is me oh, it's you. ice skating on um, 10 300 pound blocks of ice. Okay, where was this? This is at um, at Irrational Exhibits. Oh wow. Yeah, at the old track 16 at Bergmont. And yeah, so I made this uh, ice rink and then I skated on it for two and a half hours. Whoa. Because I'm really interested. I'm really interested in unlikely intersections. So escapism and revolution, camp and patriotism, and ice skating and gymnastics is is the the way like the United States really competes in these high forms of camp. That is so interesting to me. So I love I love ice skating. I love the camp and the pageantry of it. Um, and then there's this athleticism, but you notice that the U at like the watchership and the Olympics and all of these things is highest. Oh, oh the highest ratings are always for uh, the ice skating and the Gymnast Tanya Harding gym. Gym no, Tanya yeah. Harding was the ice skater, and then right. there's Mary Lou Retton and is still like the greatest. Yeah, uh, Olympian. and these things, these things are are they have glamour and camp. Oh yeah. And drama. Oh yeah. And all of these things attached to them. Very heavy drama. That and the crying the crying oh, yeah. and all the things and it's like of all you watch the olympics i do oh yeah i do the ice skating in the, or the winter olympics is I ice skating yeah. i watch i watch swimming too because i i swam swimming oh, okay. is my sport so okay. i i watch swimming who's water your favorite below. swimmer that's yeah, yeah. who has a favorite swimmer right so well, i do, michael Ooh. phelps okay michael phelps that's yeah great. Great. So he's you, been kind of a dick lately but uh, do you remember, now do you remember the um, ice skater uh, eric hyden yeah Never heard, yeah okay see there you go so yeah. my my hero is a youth Never yeah, <laughs> Oksana Bayul is a big favorite oh, wow. of okay. mine. So yeah, that's yeah. Good time. Oh yeah. yeah, I paid. I'm not a good ice skater, but I, I like. That's I think why most people are watching it. Yeah. they're really not that good, right? No. So, yeah. You know, because if they could do it, they'd be in the damn. Yeah, Olympics. I fell a lot in that performance. Oh no, didn't, really? Yeah. Didn't hurt yourself. I had I had knee I had pads. Oh yeah. And I wore floaties too, which okay. I thought was really funny. Because you can't drown. It, it's ice, but it's frozen yeah. water. Okay. So what's, what are we looking at here? We're in this kind of digital space now. Yeah, so this is, um, this is the, the homepage for Someone, which is my newest project, which is a collective avatar. Um, and so if you go to this page, which is newhive.com backslash be someone. Newhive.com mm -hmm. backslash be do someone. Do not forward slash yeah. be someone. Um, and what is be someone? So this is the, the, on this page, you'll find all of the login information, all of the login and passwords for someone's Instagram, Twitter, And you can Periscope. post, you can post as this. You can post anonymously as someone. Wow. Anyone can post Have as someone. Have you had any like stuff like, we got to take this down? Um, I am not censoring any of it. Really? Yeah. So there's there's been nothing that's um, there's nothing that goes against my like morals or anything like that as a person. It's been used a couple times for like self promotion, <laughs> but I find uh, that uh, the greatest artwork in the greatest art form of our time in the art world now is self promotion, right? Help yeah, but I just find that really interesting. I find that part of the um, people people will always tell you who they are. Oh yeah. 
So give them, give them a little bit and they reveal who they are. Yeah, so I, I think I, I find that part interesting. And it's also, you know what, it's given me, because um, I have trust issues, everyone does. Um, it's given me a lot of kind of like hope. You've had to trust people to like put cool stuff up. Yeah. And not go like weird on yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, so love the decor, very welcoming. Thank you. you know. Thank you. And I think that's what it's about, though, welcoming yeah. a, a volume of ideas without yeah. without saying you have to believe this way, you have to think this way, you have to, you know. Yeah, it's been it's um it's interesting. I I did this. I feel th this project feels performative to me because I'm performing trust, and and that to me no matter how many like I've climbed galleries in like a little black dress and heels and I've you know um I've done a number of really dangerous things and there's a risk involved in that that's like physical but not psychological necessarily Ooh, okay yeah yeah um because it's it's all magic tricks you Welcome know to the art world like abracadabra yeah um this feels vulnerable this feels oh, just vulnerable being this open yeah yeah in yeah. a way that's like here's my project but and now it's not mine anyway okay well you saved the best for the last let's see the next one because this is my all-time favorite christy roberts berkowitz uh, moment this was in 2013 yeah and in chinatown and that's now my gallery behind you but it wasn't my gallery then I think not that, at the time not no at the time. it was still the grocery store so, right so tell us about this performance um, so I, I had been doing a lot of dangerous performances and um, even though I always built in some kind of like safety as much as I could, there was one performance I was supposed to, I tried to climb a gallery in a little black dress and heels and even though I had a harness and there was a rope and everything, I got really nervous right before it happened. I called my mom just to tell her that I love her. And, no, 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 no. and I realized that, that I was starting to do things like that. And then I had done the same year I did a performance in the LA River where I, um, I did like a, a solo synchronized swimming routine in the LA River. And the friends of the LA River contacted the curators and where it's like, like, there's a lot of pollution, disease, disease and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And I did it anyway. You and didn't I was get like, cholera? And I was doing, I didn't luckily. No <laughs> hep, like no, yeah, okay. you know. Um, so, and there was, I, I realized that I was putting myself in a lot of danger for people who ultimately cared more about the spectacle than they did about my personhood and, and physical safety. That would be the art audience. We love it. We so, love that spectacle. Keep it coming. So, so what did you do here? So here, I, I, I felt like I needed to stop drinking my own Kool-Aid. I needed to stop believing that what I was doing was good enough. Like spectacle for me personally was no longer good enough. Okay. Um, and so I spelled out the word good enough with, I think it was 147 glasses of red Kool-Aid. Oh yeah. And then I tried to drink all of the Kool-Aid. Yep. Um, and then I tried to throw it back up. And yep. it's, it's the last physically dangerous performance I've done. I have another one coming up planned, but um, I, I vowed at that time Take that it was going to be the last, and it's the first one that was stopped. Now, this was the interesting factor to me. Somebody from the audience, no plan. Yeah. They finally just walked up and said, hey, man, this is, if you want to stop, this is dangerous. You ought to. Well, it was Elise Stepanian. Elise Stepanian. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You remembered. Who, I was going to give her props, but you remembered. Okay, good. Yeah. So there was apparently a doctor in the audience who, because you can only ingest so much liquid at a time before you can actually drown yourself. Yep. Your body starts absorbing um, too much liquid. There's a salt imbalance and then your brain cells swell. Yep. And so, and, I knew, and I knew this and I, and I was at the line. The amount of liquid was at the line. I, it was actually supposed to read, this is good enough. Oh, no, that's too much, too much, too much. And I cut it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, um, so I, I was halfway through and then Elise came up and she started pleading with me, yeah. like begging me to and stop. And that was it. And then I tried to throw up still. Mm. I was like, wait, but there's this part. And then like nothing came out. So I just got up and I walked away and I like hid in the alley for 20 minutes yep. and then. Yep. So uh, it was great because the need for the audience to intervene kind of, yeah, that was, that was a classic, I've never so. seen that happen. No. 
I've never seen the audience care more about the performer than, than, than the, the performance. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So. so it was perfect that that was the thing. Well, I hope that you can continue to wear as many hats for a long Thank time. You. So the hat of self-destruction, you can put that on the show. Like, right there, <laughs> I did it. Here, look, there it is. Okay. I only and, do uh, digital vulnerability now. There you go. Yeah. So, so, um, <laughs> Christy Roberts Berkowitz, thanks for being a Thank guest you. on Modern Art Blitz. I was proud to have you on the show. Thank and you, we'll sir. Be back. Oh, you're totally welcome. We'll be back right after this. <laughs>